Let's make sure our staffing is up to par, calling everybody we need. Inside the FAA's command center outside Washington, D.C., it's all hands on deck at the start of the busy summer travel season. With more than 50,000 flights and pushing 3 million passengers expected today alone, they are closely monitoring how the air traffic is flowing and the threats of severe weather that could cause disruptions. What keeps you up at night? The weather. Is, if the weather's good, I'm happy. Uh, managing volume is easy. Managing the weather is not so easy. The FAA is about 3,000 air traffic controllers short. The agency hired 1,500 last year with the goal of another 1,800 this year. We do have alternate strategies in the event that they do have a day or two where they don't have proper staffing, that we, we can mitigate that uh, impact. The nation's airlines expect to fly 271 million passengers this summer, up more than 6% from last year's record pace. The vast majority, an estimated 38.4 million, will drive to their holiday getaway. We are anticipating crazy traffic, so we are going to leave earlier than we normally would just to account for that. Tina Hammerlawn is taking an annual six-hour road trip from Atlanta to Tybee Island, Georgia. While gas prices are just a few cents higher than last year, they're still top of mind. So if we spend 50 bucks on gas, then we won't spend quite as much doing something else. Looking towards your drive home, AAA expects Sunday and Monday between 3 and 7 p.m. to be the worst times to drive. The TSA expects Monday will be its busiest day at the airports on the backside of the holiday. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, on the road in Virginia Beach.